Well, good morning and welcome to day four. Actually, the morning of day five. And probably can't tell from the hairdo, but I actually had a shower this morning. We had hot water, the showers are installed, they're working, and it was lovely. Yesterday, we made a massive amount of progress. In fact, the system is pressurized, all the radiators have water in them. We're ready to go to start the final stages this morning when all the pipes will get lagged, the system will come online, and we'll start to actually have heat in the radiators as well. So really looking forward to that. We'll pick that up one, we'll pick that one up tomorrow. That sounds like my skip lorry has just arrived, so let me go and deal with that. I'll be back in a moment. Yesterday the electrics are all now in, everything is plumbed in and we're starting to lag the pipes. Obviously the pipes run all the way up the walls there. They will be completely lagged because they will have hot and cold water running inside of them. Around at the other side of the house, we now have uh, all the electrics are hooked up. Um, as you can see here, we have our new consumer panel. And the other thing that happened yesterday was the boiler got ripped out. Um, here's a view from inside the house. As you can see, there's a rather a large hole um, and the flue here is now not connected anymore. Um, it's going to be a couple of days, but we will need a builder to come in and obviously brick that up. So Octopus are arranging that. I believe they're coming next Thursday. So we'll, uh, we'll have a temporary covering over that for a few days. Now, it might look like a bit of carnage around here, but we did this for a reason. You'll notice that all the things that were out on the drive, like the spare tank that got sent, all the copper piping is all now locked away around the back here. Now, the reason for this was we had a visit yesterday afternoon from somebody who claimed to be a scrap merchant driving a battered old transit van. Um, and whilst they were looking in the skip, uh, obviously without our permission to take anything, <clears throat> they suddenly started to take a lot of uh, interest in all the copper piping that was uh, around the site. So last night we moved everything behind. So I don't know if there was any intention to take anything, but we thought we'd bring it all behind the gate, lock it all away overnight, make sure that uh, nothing wandered off during the middle of the night. If we head up into the airing cupboard, you can see lots of work in there. We now have the, uh, uh, what they can call the MMI, the man machine interface. Um, I think that's the right name for it, um, which is the control system for it. And that'll get livened up today. Uh, we also have our thermostat installed downstairs and all the piping is in place. As I say, the system is now pressurized. It has, has all water in all the pipes and they'll all get lagged today. So let's now head up into the loft and take a look at what's happened up there. As you can see, a lot of pipe work, um, obviously where the tank was and that, that platform made a really good place to run all the pipes across. We also have the volumizer. Now, I had no idea what a volumizer was. <clears throat> And thanks to Richard at Upside Down Fork for the, uh, the simple explanation that I could understand. Basically, it increases the volume of the system. This allows the heat pump to run more efficiently because it doesn't have to cycle on and off as many times. So it can create a larger volume of heat, put it into the, the, obviously the main tank, store some of it in the volumizer as well. And that means that we're not turning off the heat pump on and off quite so often. That's it for today's update. Hopefully by this time tomorrow, We'll have heating, we'll have hot water, and everything should be good. With that, apologies, the boys are playing here. They always do this every time I try and film a video. Hopefully you found this useful. If I'm lucky, I'll see you back here tomorrow for the day five update. Thanks a lot, bye-bye.